Ever since the title, The Last Jedi, has been dropped by Lucasfilm, I have been waiting for something to come out about Episode 8 that we haven't seen yet, and earlier we got our first official look at some of the characters that we already know are going to be in Episode 8, due to something I'm, in re I'm really excited about, and that is Force Friday. I love the idea of Force Friday. It's another thing for Star Wars fans to come together, get to know the world, go out, hunt toys, get some certain things. It's really fun. It's really cool. And we get our packaging looks for this year. And on the packaging, we have the characters of Poe Dameron, we have Finn, and we have Rey. And it's really exciting to see these characters come back into a larger scale. If you are not familiar with Force Friday, it's a dedicated day every year since The Force Awakens came out, where all the new products for Star Wars come on sale a day early before they're actually released, and you can go buy them, you can go get them out. It's a fun way to get the fans interactive back into the world of Star Wars. There was the one for Force Awakens, we had Rogue One last year, and September 1st this year, we are going to have The Last Jedi. So let's go further into this packaging we saw. I don't know what this packaging is for, it could be for a lot of the different board games, a lot of cool, like, mini toys, ships and stuff that we're going to see. I do expect we will see some reveals of different characters and stuff at Toy Fair, which is happening this weekend. And everything we saw in the packaging, I'm excited about. I liked everything we saw. First off, we're speculating about packaging. So I'm not going to go super into everything. I'm not going to take this all with like super big spoiler. It's going to ruin the movie. What we first saw, we saw Poe Dameron. He's looking the same. He's got his helmet on, which we've seen is going to be on sale soon. You'll be able to get a replica of Poe's helmet. I think that's really cool. Poe's looking good. He's looking like the same character we saw in the last one, and that's really exciting. I'm glad to see Poe back in the front here. Last time, all the packaging was done to Kylo Ren. I'm kind of glad we're going to the light side. The packaging's white. I think that's really nice. We also get our first look at Finn in Episode 8. And, again, I'm just talking about what I see off the packaging. This is not some big spoilers, but he's wearing Poe's jacket from what I can tell, I think he's still wearing that same jacket. I'm okay with that. It's nice to see that the bromance between Poe and Finn is still there. Maybe we can see these characters become intimate. I'm not going to say they are. If it happened, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not against the idea. But they have good chemistry. They have a good bromance. And to see him still wearing the jacket, from what I see, I can see he's wearing a new shirt. It looks whiter, like the Resistance, more colorful, not dark, like Stormtroopers, under armor. It's nice to see that we're getting a new look for Finn. I think we're going to have to see more with Finn. His character needs to do more in this movie than just be that guy that got Ray. It's going to be nice to see what he's going to become in this movie. And I don't think we've seen anything yet that indicates he was seriously injured. Now, that could just be he has like maybe some exoskeleton suit on underneath what he's doing. Maybe he's paralyzed. We don't know. It would be a really interesting take if John Boyega's character was paralyzed. So let's get into the big gritty everything that really matters on this packaging and that is ray i was a big fan of the force awakens and my favorite character was ray i loved everything this character did going forward i was so excited to see daisy really take on this role become a bigger part of the star wars universe and the impact that her character will have on future films and films in the past so seeing this packaging it looks like she's wearing the same costume she did at the end of Episode 7, the Resistance kind of looking costume that she had. And it's exciting to see. It looked a little more blue in the picture. Maybe that's just the packaging, and that's okay. But the big thing I got from this, there's two big things I got from the packaging. Number one is, her hair is different. It's going out of the buns that she had, the three buns. And I'm okay with that. I like the way her hair looks. Is that an indicate? Maybe because we've seen Anakin have his hair flowing down in Episode 3. Kylo Ren was like that. Does that mean she could be going to the dark side? Even Luke had his hair a bit longer at the end of episode 6. Is that something we could be seeing? And again, I don't want to speculate hard because this is toy packaging. But it could mean something like that is happening. And the other big thing is, she still has Anakin's lightsaber. This could be taken as a spoiler, maybe. But one of the big things in Star Wars is seeing characters construct their own lightsabers and having their own lightsaber. In a deleted scene in Return of the Jedi, Luke constructs his own lightsaber. He doesn't use Anakin's anymore. So my feeling about this is that she still has the lightsaber because if you go back to Force Friday for 2015 in The Force Awakens, none of the characters came with lightsabers. We didn't see it come with Finn. We didn't see it come with Rey because they wanted to leave that to the movie. 
So I'm assuming what we're going to get here is the same thing they did before. We get a new, maybe black series action figure of Rey. She's going to come with Anakin's lightsaber. And then they'll re-release it later and she'll have her own lightsaber. I'm expecting her staff will be turned into a double-bladed lightsaber. That's just me. I'm expecting to see something like that. So those are the big takeaways I got from this. Now maybe there's some other little things I've been missing. Why didn't we see Kylo Ren? Are we going to have the shock of seeing his scar from the burn later? I don't know. And are we ever going to see any merchandise for Snoke? That was a big thing I thought about. Why don't we see any merchandise for Snoke? Because traditionally, we've seen Darth Vader on packaging, we've seen the Death Troopers on packaging, Stormtroopers, Kylo Ren. Maybe seeing Snoke would have been really cool. Or maybe this would have been a good way to reveal Benicio Del Toro's character and have him be the bad guy on the packaging. I'm not complaining what I saw. I think it all looks good. And I'm really excited. I like the way Rey is looking now. She's looking more fierce. She's looking more like she's a Jedi. I think Finn is going to have a bigger role. And I'm excited to see that. And I'm glad to see we have Poe on the packaging. Poe packaging, kids. That's what we got. Poe packaging. So if you have any other thoughts on this packaging, I don't know what else thoughts you can have. If you got an idea, maybe you got a hot new Snoke theory from this. I don't know. Anyway, thanks. Good luck.